Hi and welcome to this tutorial. This one I would like to call uh, three-way landscaping um, because I'm going to display you three uh, different uh, types of uh, making landscapes in Modular and lay layout. Uh, there's going to be one one uh, in Modular and there's going to be two different ways in um, in layout, though they use the same technique but in a different way. So. Um, Let's start in here by zooming out a bit so we can get a huge area. Like here we have like almost one kilometer. And I'm going to drag out a box here which for some reason I can't. Let's reset my box tool, delete this, and here we go. And I'm going to divide this up a bit, like this. Now, I have a normal plane here, and uh, to start with, I'll save this as landscape tutorial something like that. Okay, now in Modular uh, you could start here by pressing the tab key to uh, sub patch the plane and start here selecting some polys and moving those up and so on to shape the landscape and um, that is a possibility. However, you could also, uh, if I undo here, go back, you can go down here to Morph and you can add a new morph target. I'm just going to call this morph and create and close this panel and on the morph I'm going to drag this up like say this. I'm then going down here to go down to the base position of the morph and I'm going to the map tab up here and press the airbrush. Now if I press the numeric key for the airbrush here, I go into vertex map and I select morph and I press OK. Now here with the right mouse I can select my cursor size and I can select over here the strength that I would like to, to work on here and I can just start paint here and then that way shape my landscape and if I want something to become higher I can just paint and paint and paint and paint and paint and you should see down here it's rising up from the landscape now I can take some smaller brush and I can start adding some more detail here up the edge to kind of shape this up a bit now that's one way or two ways to shape up some landscapes in uh, in modeler um, if I now click here and I clean this close, don't save and then I load up my plane again here I'll then press the tab key to sub patch the plane I'll go into the surface editor here check this, check smooth OK, S for save, and up here I'll send to layout. I'll then go by pressing the key number 4 to my perspective view, so I can see what I have here. I'll move this lamp a little bit out of the way. And as you see here, I have a little over 1 kilometer. So, I'll select the object here, press P for properties, and then go into the deform tab here and select displacement map. 
up here I'll select a procedural I can close this and I'm going to select let's say dented then I'll say here say 500 500 500 and I'm going to rise this texture value to say 200 perhaps that's a little too much like this 100 and you see now I have made a nice landscape here I could to control the landscape area um, go into the displacement map again and I could start down here in the position and move it around the values here to kind of check out the map I could also um, do like this I add a null object to be the controller and I can go into the displacement here and add this as a reference because then I can take my null object and start here moving it around real time and see where do I find in this procedural uh, the texture like I would like to have which is uh, as you see pretty neat and pretty real time that's another way of, of making a, a landscape a third way could be if I take this and I remove it again like this and I then go into an application like Photoshop or GIMP or Simula whatever you have I can then make a new image, let's say 1000 times 1000 perhaps and apparently thinking there we have it and I go into my colors here and I check 128, 128 and I do a, a fill here like this fill foreground yes thank you like this I can then go over here and use my my burn and my dodge tool to kind of shape my landscape um, if I use my burn tool here I can select uh, brush here like this and I can start painting here and what I'm going to to make darker here is going to be going downwards into the landscape like this and I can then change to my dodge tool here and I can rise up these edges here of the landscape like this for example I can then take the burn tool again make it lower and I know this is not perhaps a realistic mountain but just an example on the f of how you can use this tool do like this oops like this and I can then make this a little brighter here like this let's see what happened with this so this is going to be my landscape uh, the benefit of this is that also after doing this you can make a new map here and you can start um, going in here and colorizing your, your landscape here to so say here we have some uh, the, let's take the brush here let's say like this and you can start coloring out your areas of the map here perhaps the darker part here is so low that you have some water in it that you can paint that up and you can add that at a texture map also into uh, your scene you could also use textures as stone and grass and so on and mix it together in your Photoshop 
and then make your texture map for your map. But I'll now, for now just save this. Save as and I'll choose say BMP and out here and let's call it be displacer like this. Okay. And I'll minimize Photoshop and go in here. P for properties, display deform, displacement map and on the Y axis here, I am going to load my displacement map. Landscape displacer, as you see here. And I'll close this and I will automatic size this to my plane. And I'll boost this to say 50 or perhaps to 200. And you see now. My landscape here is taking shape out of the Photoshop file that I made. Just for fun, I'll go in here and I'll try to save this just to see. Save as landscape color map like this, and I'll go to surface texture here and I will load landscape color map and auto size this again and you can now see that the colors are fitting to my map exactly. So that's uh, three ways of making landscapes in Lightwave. I hope you can uh, get some use out of this. I'll see you around.